previously in Beholder 2. It's a nest of vipers, Evan, and you must become a goddamn king of the vipers if you want to get promoted. Think of a way to get the pills through security. Think fast. Your report has been accepted. Thank you for your vigilance. <gasps> oh shit! Okay! Well, I guess that was to be expected. <laughs> this is one of these games that make me feel really horrible about myself, really. I guess that's the point. Oh shit! Oh my god! Did I get her? <gasps> Glory to the great state! Peace and prosperity to the collective great motherland! Happiness, health and well-being to every one of you! Hurrah! Oh, that was just a public beating. <gasps> oh, shit! Congratulations, Evan Redgrave. You have been added to the Brave 4 promotion program. Eliminate three colleagues from the list of competitors to move up the career ladder. Your colleagues must voluntarily or forcibly withdraw their candidatures from the list. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Beholder 2. I am doing Magda's insulin fetching quest right now. I really didn't know what to do at work, so I came to do a side quest. I need to figure out how to get Emma and Peter out of my way and get the promotion. So while I'm figuring that out, let's <laughs> let's do this. You come to the old river port. A few years ago, a fire destroyed most of it. All that remains is quay and brick warehouses and a few structures behind the railway tracks. The scientist that Rakovich talked about lives around here. But how can you find him? Let's go to the barge. You see a dirty-faced boy on the shore by barge. He's kicking pebbles absent-mindedly and is clearly waiting for someone. The boy starts to get nervous when he notices you. Okay, I'll talk to him. You call out little boy, but he makes a show of not being able to hear you. Okay, let's go back. Go back. Warehouses? At first glance, the warehouses seem abandoned. As you come closer, you notice fresh tire tracks on the ground. There is a sign on the fence, do not enter. Let's go past. You take a couple of steps and two large armed men in uniform appear next to you. You have broken the rules and the military aren't happy about it. Your ministerial employee ID saves you from prison, but not from a fine. At least they didn't shoot you. Fuck. Railroad tracks? Tracks search deep, stretch deep into the port. One branch dives into a dark tunnel and the other leads to an abandoned freight shed. Temporary warehouse where carriages were once loaded. Right shit. Despite the general desolation, the old building looks in reasonable shape. The windows are intact, the graffiti on the walls are almost invisible, and the door is closed with a robust lock. Probably not going to get the lock done, so entrance to the tunnel is closed off with heavy gates. Someone removed the wires from the control panel. Copper is highly prized at scrap recycling centers. Okay, try open the door. Shit. You try open the gate with your hands, but only manage to tear off a couple of your nails. God damn, professor! The light river breeze carries your words into the void. Dogs bark in the distance. Fine, let's go to the barge. Inspect the thingy. Barge looks like an old, trusty wash tub. It looks like some homeless people have settled in here. You find a couch and a bunch of old things one in one of the cabins. Examine the things. The only thing of worth is a bunch of wires, which local residents must have wanted to sell for scrap. Well, let's take the wires. Rightly so. Why throw away old wires? Maybe you can put them to use. Okay, then we go back, go to the railroad. 
Go to the tunnel. Connect the wires. The foolproof design that only allows each wire to be inserted into a certain slot helps you bring the console back to life. Bulbs light up and the gate opens and lets you into the shade of the tunnel. Enter. The far side of the tunnel has collapsed, but there's light in a side utility room. Inside it, you find an old man with disheveled grey hair. He obviously wasn't expecting you, but he tries not to show his fear. The old man mutters his name and tries to complain. After a short dialogue, it becomes clear that this was who you were looking for. A chemist who carried out his experiments far from the ministries and universities. Why is he hiding? The old man says that pacifists have to make any and all sacrifices for their ideals. So he left the Ministry of Science embroiled in scandal after learning that his inventions were being used by the military. He had to go into hiding when his wife reported him for his laboratory in the attic of their home. Okay, give me some insulin, mister. You talk about the children who are suffering from diabetes and will die without insulin, and ask the old man to name a price for the leftover drugs. Without hesitation, the old man agrees to give the medicines still stored in the warehouses to a good cause. He says that there are at least a dozen such warehouses, meaning that the children will have enough medicine, for a while anyway. You can inform Rakovic that you have fulfilled her request and come to an agreement. It won't cost her a penny. Okay, that was nice, but... Let's see how many bills did I get from that expedition there. I don't have too much money right now. Electricity payment, phone payment. Fine for being in the wrong place. Bill for minor injury, laundry, collect for patriotic. That thing, okay, I need to pay that and that. I did everything you asked. And it all went well. In general, yes. Though this scientist is a strange one. He is a genius, though not one recognized by our science. Are you in conflict with him? In our times, you cannot be confident in anything. I hope that he has good insulin, because I have no alternatives. I hope it'll all be okay. If you'd been there, you'd know that nothing is in okay. Nothing is okay in that place. Why are you so upset? You look terrible. I need soap. How much? A lot of it. Several boxes. There was a mix-up in the supply department and they sent the children three boxes of ammunition instead of soap. Now they can shoot themselves but can't get rid of the toilet, can't get off the toilet because there's an epidemic of dysentery in the building. Okay! Lovely! I need to get to work. Do you have... Anything new to tell me? No, you don't. Okay, let's talk about helping the orphanage. What do you need me to do? Can you make a request to the supply department so that they correct their mistake? No problem. Not so fast. They only accept requests from Kermit Ferguson's terminal. I can't leave my workplace, but I'll cover for you if I have to. Here's the number of the House of Misfits in the Ministerial Databases. Don't worry, I'll do everything I can. Hello Emma, let's have a chat and get some information out of you. What are you doing? What's new? Nothing to brag about, Evan. I'm short on money all the time and my mother is always pestering about the children. I don't know what to do. Got any ideas? Sell a kidney, perhaps? Maybe I'll find a place for my children. I'm not a good mother. I haven't given up on the idea of marrying someone in the ministry, but the f future is so uncertain. I like your idea of looking for a husband. If he's rich, he can support you and your children. I'm still eyeing up on our colleagues, but I wouldn't bet on that option. You're married and the rest aren't exactly Prince Charming. Okay, that wasn't anything new. Do you have anything new in your, in your desk? Something that I could use against you? I'm sorry, I'm horrible. I don't like doing this either, but I just have to. <gasps> Brochure called 30 Ways to Talk. Inscription on the first page reads, there are only 21 in this book. 30 just sounds better. Huh, and then laxatives. Why would you have laxatives in there? <laughs> You're weird. Um, okay. How about it? 
do this. No good trouble with the checkpoint. No, there will not. But now I can give that brochure of 30 ways to talk to Peter and maybe he can go and talk with... Where is he? It's the guy. Come on. There you are. Hello, Peter. I might have something for you. All right. What did you bring? Here's a brochure. 30 best conversation starters. It has a lot of tips to help you talk to anyone. Should come in handy. I love reading. But I've never drunk alcohol before. There's a first time for everything. Just don't drink it on an empty stomach. How much should I take? A couple of sips will be enough. Thank you. The thing would do for love. Alright, I'll do it later. I'll read the Bashir. After I read the Bashir. Okay, good. Bye now. What? You owe 400. I'm gonna use my authority. If there's something you don't understand, just ask my boss and he'll explain who I am and why I'm allowed to look in the drawers. Capish? What? None of your business. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Whew. Except now I'm quite low on authority. Is there anything interesting in the lost and found? I don't think there is. No, oh, yeah, because I stole the brochure from from Emma. If I go to the square, what will happen? Is that like back to work? Oh! There is a raging sea of people on the central square. Somewhere in the distance, a speaker is shouting at the top of his lungs. His speech, amplified by the loudspeakers, carries over the head carries over the heads of the crowd. There can be no mercy for the blood mercenaries of the Boreans. These rotten murderers, spies, saboteurs and pests. Thousands of voices echo this call. I'm gonna silent and watch. Nearby, a nondescript man in grey cloak looks carefully over the crowd and then nods at you. Am I not back? The stranger glances meaningfully at the back street and walks briskly into him. Yeah, go after. When you approach, the grey goat shows you a policeman's badge and asks if you're his backup. Uh, I'm gonna tell the truth. You tell him honestly that you came to the square by chance and do not have any connection to the police. He nods in understanding. But I'm offering my help anyway. The great coat thinks for a moment and then lays his cards on the table. He spotted a particularly dangerous wanted criminals, criminal in the crowd. He needs help apprehending him because his partner is on the other side of the square. Okay, I'll help. Having established a joint plan of action, you make your way through the crowd to the tall man and pin him down. The policeman immediately puts hands handcuffs on him and you catch a glimpse of an explosive belt under the criminal's jacket. The terrorist is led away and the grey coat writes down your name, salutes you, then gets into the car with the criminal and rides away. Alright. Okay, well that earned me back the authority I lost on the... A gate earlier today, so let's watch some telly and then get back to bed. And oh. okay, let's start with this then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait. And I'll wait for boss to get away. And then send the message from his terminal. I want a book to learn how to... Okay, where are you going, mister? Okay, there was a weird animation. Yeah, I, I want a book to get to... Um, yeah, breaking into this place. Okay, list of punished employees. No, wait, we have checked these out already okay institution code I have that one zero seven slash one okay wrong direction one zero seven 
Was it this way? Yeah. That way. Slash. One. Okay. Send. Wait. Oh, two, zero. Shit. Two. There. A supply for the month. Soap. Permission to collect dead wood. Okay. Send. Task updated. Okay. Cool. I don't know how that went. But I'm going to get back here now and talk to Magda again. I don't, I don't know uh, if that made any difference. Okay, I sent the request. Excellent. You care so much about these children. Mostly about the girls, seeing as one of them is my granddaughter. Why don't you take her from there? Children in the House of Misfits are given new names, and the real names are stored under numbers in the Ministry of Information Collection Database and in the archive. I have the number that was assigned to her at birth. 214782. And I'm scared. I want to take her home more than anything, but I'll have to change my whole life. Remember, Evan Redgrave, I'm telling you all of this because you helped me. This is just a moment of weakness. Okay. Let's talk about your granddaughter. What do you want to know? How did she end up in the House of Misfits? It's a story about a whole series of deaths. My husband died first. He refused to defend his lab assistant when someone from the Ministry Order came for him. I rushed to him. Took a stun gun to the chest. His heart couldn't take it. Then my son-in-law died on the front. My daughter was suspecting a baby at a time. We didn't tell her about him, but she found out somehow. She went to the labor prematurely. There were complications. She lost a lot of blood and I clicked the thing too early. While she was still in the hospital, my granddaughter was diagnosed with diabetes. Under all laws, children with this diagnosis are immediately sent to the house of misfits. When someone arrives there, they're given a number and their personal file is Miss Secret. She was taken when she was still a baby. It's already been several years, so I can't even imagine what she looks like. I know where she is, but I don't know who she is. All I can do is help all the children in that place, without exception. With money, clothes, medicine, in the hope that some of it will reach my granddaughter. Bye now, that was interesting, I learned a lot. But is any of that anything that can help me with the... Promotion? Probably not, but Peter here has something to say to me. What is it, Peter? Tell me. What do you want? About the date? Did you ask Emma out? I didn't manage to. Why? But I try to talk to her, I black out. I just can't get out any words. As soon as I see her beautiful smile, her charming eyes, her... Peter! What? Alright. Oh, when I see her, it's like white whale comes over my brain and I nothing comes to mind. So what? Will you just continue to devour her with your eyes and suffer all the while? I have a plan, but I need your help. What? You have a plan, Peter. You're making progress. I want you to feed me lines. Great, what? You mean, I'm supposed to stand next to you and tell you what to say. I don't think Emma will agree to go out with you after a performance like that. I've thought it all through. I hacked into the security system ages ago and altered my right access rights a, a little. When Emma leaves... To go home, I'll run into her in waiting room. There's plenty of screens there. You can connect to one of them and type up whatever I need to say. You hacked into security system? What for? Um, doesn't matter now. Use your terminal to connect to cameras and screens. Are you sure my tips are going to help you? Well, even if that doesn't work out. Oh, shit. That is not good. Oh, a new... Kill the enemy viper. Yesterday, during a rally in honor of the reader's momentous new decisions, representatives of the Ministry of Order appro apprehended an enemy suicide bomber. He was planning to use dynamite to turn the peaceful assembly into bloodbath, but was exposed and arrested. Thousands of lives were saved, and thousands of children will now go 
get to bask in the bright sun of the new era of the great leader has promised us. Glory to the guardians of the law. The wild agent will suffer a punishment for his deed. Death to the enemies and spies. Okay. Boring. Fine, let's do this then. This better help me to get you two out of the out of the competition. Emma. Yes. Be polite, ask how she's doing. It's good to see you, Emma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I've got a lot of work as usual. A girl from the department next door went on maternity leave, so I had to help her out and take on her work. Okay, compliment. If there were more people like you, the world would be a better place. Oh, come on. I'm just an ordinary girl. Work, home, nothing interesting. What do you do in your free time? If only I had any, but I do watch TV shows when I get the chance. I sometimes go to the park or the library. What about you? Um, be honest, mister. I'm afraid of beetles, open spaces, and the idea of everyone laughing at me. Hmm, valuable information. Are you always so frank, or am I just lucky? Mom told me always to speak only the truth. How sweet. Do you still live with your mother? Do you have family? Children? Uh, tell her you love children. I adore children, although I haven't found the right person to have them with yet. Really? What an incredible coincidence. Children are so cute. So wonderful. But you're right, it's very difficult to find the right person. Um, politely ask her on a date. Would you like to meet up again? Maybe we could go somewhere. Sure, I like chatting with you. Me too. You're an amazing girl. Well, well, save your compliments for our date. Let me know when you're around, everything. And now I have to go. See you. You'll see me on our date. <laughs> Bye, Peter. And wipe the happy smile off your face before you start drooling. Yes, yes, of course. Oh. Okay, that was sweet. Oh, hello. Lovely. Now will you get... You know... Would you be so in love that you would... Wouldn't care about the... Um, promotion then? How did it go? <laughs> Thanks again, Evan. We're so happy. Words just can't do it justice. <laughs> She's stunning. She's a miracle. I would gladly give my life for her. I'm, bes I'm beside myself with joy, and even lost my stammer. Good for you, darling. Even the flowers were spot on, thanks to you. I owe you, Evan. Seriously, if I can help you with anything, just tell me. Okay, ask for help with promotion. I had to ask you this, but it's about career development. I was just talking about that with Emma. This race for promotion won't lead to anything good for us, working on different floors so far from each other. <laughs> So if it's so important to you, Evan, we won't compete with you for a place in the limelight. Yes! Thank you, Peter. Okay. Bye now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now I have a promotion. Dun, 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 yeah. So now I just go to... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do I still need the 50,000 authorities? Yeah, 15,000. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna submit information about my colleagues. And I still need... Yeah. I still need a couple of thousand of these points here, so I'm just gonna work my ass off then. Wait, do I have any, any quests that would give me any? No. 
Hmm, share your heart. Do you want to help our great motherland and improve your financial situation? Come to the headquarters of Share Your Heart program to donate blood, bone marrow, kidneys and other organs for the good of the country. The organs will be used to save our valiant soldiers in hospital. Each donor is paid a reward. You can also buy government bonds from us to help the motherland even more. I also convinced Peter to sell his kidneys so that he can save his mother from the debt collectors. I'm not sure if that was a good thing to do. Probably not. Oh, sh All right. Took me forever to get the needed... 15,000 authority points, but now I can finally apply for that promotion. Select the purpose, yeah, apply for promotion. Congratulations, you've served your country well. The wise leader has taken note of it. You've been promoted under the workload increase program for exceptional employees. That program does not sound very good. After you are promoted, you will no longer be able to access your workplace on this floor and your authority will be reset. Are you ready to move up to the next floor? Yes, I am. Initializing promotion protocol. Ah, oh, yeah. Congratulations, you have been promoted to floor 12. And I did not have time to read the rest of it. Uh, call James Cunningham. Can I call from there? No, I can't. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call James Cunningham. Uh, yeah, now I can't go in there anymore. It's okay. I don't care. I'm gonna go back home. It took me hours to grind that last 5,000 authority points. Literal hours and days in the game time. And I actually had to stop playing there for a while and come back another day, but yeah. Now I think we are... <sighs> Finally getting on somewhere again. Okay, let's call James, see what he has to say. Hello James, it's Evan. I'm listening. I got a promotion. I've been transferred to the 12th floor. That's great news, Evan. Your father would be proud of you. But it's too early to rest on your laurels. Now everything will get even more difficult. Your task is the same. You have to find some dirt on your next boss. Get to know him, gain his trust, and find something on him. Or just get your colleagues out of the way and climb up the career ladder to the next floor. The bigger the game, the more interesting the hunt. Got it, James. And be extremely careful. I heard that things aren't so simple on this floor. Judging by the sheets, they have wild staff turnaround rate. So keep an ear to the ground. Okay. I will. Find dirt on Albert de Salvo. Okay. How many promotions do I have to get? Okay, I don't need the floor one things. Investigation. Find dirt on Albert de Salvo and get promoted again. Oh god! This is a rat race! Is that a thing? In Finnish, the um, saying is a squirrel wheel. Can I do anything outside? No. I must stay at home and watch some TV and then get to work again. And I will leave this episode of Beholder 2 right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time we'll be going to the 12th floor and see what's up there. Yeah, if you like this, let me know. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.